Let's compare and contrast meditation practices. First, in general, meditations use different amount of control. Focus attention meditations focus the mind. They keep the mind from moving. For instance, in Zen meditation, you keep the attention in the center of the brain. Or in Vipassana, you focus on the breath. Now, whenever you focus the mind, you see gamma EEG moving 20 to 50 times per second. Open monitoring meditations allow all experiences to pass through awareness with your attention just moving from one experience to the next. For instance, mindfulness. You could be mindful of thoughts, emotions, breath. Whenever your attention is on internal mental processing, you see theta, EEG. It goes up and down five to seven times per second. Automatic self-transcending meditations are any meditations that transcend the steps of the meditation practice. They start with thinking. They end up with silence, inner wakefulness. Transcendental meditation is in this category. And whenever your attention is turned within, you're just awake, not actively processing or thinking, evaluating. You see another brain wave. It's called alpha-1, moving 8 to 10 times per second. Second, meditations differ in the level of activation of an intrinsic brain network called the default mode network. In this slide, you actually see the areas of the brain involved in the default mode network. We see it's in the front and also in the back. Default mode network is high whenever the mind is moving easily, when you're thinking about yourself or others. Default mode network is low whenever you're controlling the mind, controlling attention, involved in goal-oriented behavior. Research reports that all meditations and focus attention and open monitoring are associated with low default mode network. And this is expected because these meditations involve controlling the mind. Research also reports that activity in the default mode network remains high during transcendental meditation practice. The mind is moving, but it's being directed by the natural tendency of the mind. The process of transcending is being conducted by the natural tendency of the mind. Third, meditations differ in blood flow patterns. Blood flow is higher when that part of the brain is more active, and it's lower when that part of the brain is less active. Focus attention meditation, here we see Zen. There's decreased activity in the back part of the brain, that's the blue area. That's part of the default mode network. And we see here how focusing decreases activity in this network. And in open monitoring meditation, mindfulness, we see increased blood flow in the front part of the brain, and this is what controls attention switching. Now this is expected because in mindfulness you're moving attention from one experience to another experience to another experience. Last, these are blood flow patterns during transcendental meditation practice in the automatic self-transcending category. You notice large areas of the front are active. This is a part of the brain that's involved in higher cognitive functioning, um, attention, executive control. And at the same time, there's decreased blood flow indicated by the blue color in the brainstem. This is a unique pattern of restful alertness which is not reported in other meditations. So in conclusion, we see that meditations have different procedures and different brain patterns. These lead to different benefits. Some meditations develop focusing the mind. Others train you to be mindful. Others you learn to transcend and to bring that inner silence, inner stability of the transcendent out into activity. Thank you.